Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.40. The senses, mind and intelligence are said to be the dwelling places of this lust. Through them, lust covers the knowledge of the living entity and completely bewilders him. Sar Ardhavarshini Where does this lust reside? In response to this question, Sri Bhagavan is speaking this verse beginning with Indriyani, the senses, mind and intelligence which are like a great fort or capital city, are the abode of this enemy, lust. The sense objects, such as sound, are like the kingdom of a king. The embodied soul is bewildered by all of them. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti A person can easily conquer his enemy when he has discovered his enemy's hidden place, and destroyed it. The senses are the shelter or hiding place of this lust. Therefore, by subduing the senses, lust can be easily defeated. Bhagavan Sri Krishna has compared lust to a very powerful king, the senses to the king's capital, which is protected by a great fort, and the various sense objects to the kingdom and the subjects of the king. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, When the pure, cognizant, living entity accepts a body, he is known as Dehi, embodied. As long as lust dwells in the senses, mind and intelligence, it keeps the knowledge of the living entity covered. The subtle state of lust is avidya, or ignorance. It is this ignorance only that originally offers the jiva, who is an atomic conscious entity with a pure ego, the initial veil of ignorance, material false ego. Material intelligence acts as a shelter for this lust, or ignorance. Later, when the material false ego has developed, Material intelligence provides the mind as a second shelter for lust. The mind that runs after sense objects then provides the senses as the third place of shelter for this lust. Taking shelter of these three places, lust casts the living entity into worldly enjoyment. When a living entity turns towards Sri Bhagavan by his own will, it is called knowledge or vidya. And when he willfully becomes averse to Sri Bhagavan, it is called ignorance or avidya. <laughs>